G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Skyrim Anniversary Edition Arbalest playthrough. When last we left off, yes, Serana is with us. We are doing the Dawn Guard questline. Um, although we do need to find that, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a huge amount of stuff to sell. Oh yes, look at that, 363 bananas out of 495 is my current weight. What did you need? I, I don't need you asking me what do you need every 10 seconds. That was the thing in last episode, not this one. So, how are we going to do this? We need to sell some stuff, but we also need to get back up here to Castle Vault here. Um, let's start in Whiterun and sort of do a loop. We'll go Falk Light Whiterun, Riverwood, Falkreath, Markarth, Solitude, if we need to, to sell stuff. You've got some good people. And I'm des I'm going to desperately try not to buy anything. Just sell what I can afford to sell. And that's it. We're selling that. You can't afford it. Alrighty, and you definitely can't afford one of those. We'll sell that. We will sell that. And that's all we can sell to you. So I've got to remember I've got two of these crossbows of malediction as well. Don't forget to check inside. And more importantly, I have to actually remember to use that. The idea is is that bow will allow me to fill soul gems. Hello. Take a look. Uh, oh, you don't have a hell of a lot. Um, yes, sell one of those, and then those. That's about all I can sell to you at this time. I mean, I could sell some dwarven bolts for a gold each. I only have a couple of thousand of them, but, yeah, not just yet. Um, that has brought my carry weight down some. I might go up to... Oh, hang on. Yes. Oh. I work with my mother. Sell I... and vegetables. I don't know if that staff is a named staff that I should be keeping and putting on display or not. Oh, no, I'm going to get rid of it. I don't care even if it is. So we might go up to... Farangar and see if we can sell that and anything else that we've got that he will buy to him and then we'll hit Yorl and Greymane on the way back I don't think I've got anything to sell to Acadia but we will no I do have some potions I'm pretty sure so we'll do that and then we'll do Bellathor and that might actually we might even be able to get it all done in Whiterun we can hope anyway Doing. Just Take a look. buy my stuff. Don't ask. Don't be 15 amulets of Stendar. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of stuff here. Well, I really want to sell that. And you can't even afford that. I didn't want to buy anything. But you do have filled Grand Soul Gems. So... Oh, I have so many of these things. Uh, let's get rid of that. 
50 you can't afford that but you can no tab you can sell me another grand soul gem so let's see if i sell all of those that's 1200 Is it worthwhile buying? All of his filled gems. G'day, D-Bills. How you doing? Still have eight robes of restoration to sell. Meanwhile, I bought every filled soul gem, even though I, would, I didn't want to buy any. So that's that's about normal, really, for me. Uh, right, Yorlin. What's the time? Oh, 2.54 p.m. Yeah, good. I was hoping it wasn't like 8 o'clock in the morning because he's never here early. Got a lot of steel to shape. Gods be praised. Uh, sell that to you. We're keeping that because that's the only one. And that's all I can sell to you. Fine. And Serana hasn't Caught up to me yet? There she goes. She's not quite as nimble as me when it comes to navigating the highways and byways of the city of Whiterun. Might as well grab any void salts she might be willing to sell if she's so got them. Then. Uh, yeah, because I don't want that. And I decided I don't want any of these paralysis poisons. Uh, that's okay. Magicka. Can't even afford that. Do you have void salts? Please, you got two. Very nice, because that's going to allow me to sell more stuff to you. Magicas and Magicas and Alice's Poison. Oh, and Stamina. Very good. So... Maybe we can sell the rest of the stuff to Bellathor. I don't know how much we've actually got left now. Everything's for oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see now. Uh, no, we're not selling any of that. Eight robes of restoration. Seven lords of leaping. No, that's that's something completely different, isn't it? Can't afford all of those. Of course you can't. So let's just sell what we can to you. Uh, you have common soul gems. You have an ebony ingot. But I've got plenty of those now. Uh, nope. Nothing I want. Uh, Carselmo. Carselmo in Marka. Is my next best bet. Uh, although there probably is. I don't know if there is a court mage in Falkreath. If there is, I don't remember who it is. Interesting that South Shriekwind Bastion is cleared but shows that I've never been there. Hmm. Um... Anyway, yes. 
little bit unclear there as to who the mage is in Olkreath. Maybe there isn't one. Let's go and find Carselmo. I'm pretty sure he'll be around. Let's cross the street so this uh, guy from Sten. Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Seems not. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe. Thank you for your time. I wish you would stop asking me that. Super annoying. Right. You know what? I don't think Carselmo ever sleeps. He's always here. I have things, spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Do -do -do. Uh, no. Take a look. Do have a grand soul gem. There we go. That. That works. We sold everything. Beautiful. I don't know that I ever really comprehended before that they sleep in here somewhere that's just another one of those weird little things where there isn't enough houses for everybody in the cities in Skyrim so people end up sleeping in bizarre places Is there like a local map here where we can see where we need to go? No. Yes. What did you need? Uh. I can't wait to see the courtyard again. I thought there was supposed to be like a back way in that we were looking for. What does the quest say? Uh, in order to avoid the tank, we decided to utilize a hidden entrance on the back side of the island. I don't know that I've ever found or used that before. I mean, I, I guess maybe I must have, but... don't really remember going around the side of this island before. But I suppose I must have. Oh, that's just clams. Well, well, look at all this. Damn it, I 
missed. And he doesn't move. Just when I expect him to move, he doesn't. Okay, not getting in that way. I have my bolt back. All I really care about. I don't even think I really should worry about even getting the bolt back, to be honest. It's not like I'm running low or anything. want to scout out this area down that's not let's just double check Ooh, is that a no it's just stonework i thought it might have been a chest let's just make sure there is nothing in this little entrance here i'm pretty sure there isn't but yeah that's all blocked up very good and i haven't hit anything back around there except for a hell of a lot of seagull crap everywhere and my occasional bolt have to be killing vampires in here yes what did you need oh it's a skeever for crying out loud That's interesting. Ooh. Okay. Doggy down there. I miss. Right, much better. Hey, okay, came down those stairs, Tony. Don't bother trying to go back up them. Floating bucket. Okay, nothing there. Uh, as we need to be moving in that direction, we 
have hallway over here? We do. But it's blocked off. I need a way through. Look at that. Oh, and it's trapped. Okay, it's a little bit that way. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, no, maybe too far. Okay, let's just have a look. What size soul gem did we get out of that? A lesser. Typical. And vampires end up being black soul gems only. Uh, good to know, a little disappointing because I was hoping to farm them for gra for greater soul gems. Anywho. Did that say she's, that's a feral vampire? Journal Fragment. Not good enough to live in this stupid keep, am I? Stupid don't stupid sods don't realise I moved into the undercroft and started taking control of their own death fields. Oh, isn't that fun? Ooh. I'll take that. Those gauntlets are actually probably worth taking if I was so inclined, but I'm not. Get that potion. Ooh, hypothetical treachery. There we go. That's another bit of experience. I don't want vampire boots. Take that money. I'll close that bear trap. That lever opens. That. Oh, hang on. I wish she wouldn't animate those things. Makes me think that we're getting attacked or something.
Okay, I don't see the point of coming down here. There's no treasure, there's no levers. Just a half blooded hit with spikes. Whatever. That's not interactable. I don't want frostbite venom. I don't really want the lingering what's in them either, I guess. Oh joy. I guess I should have just shot the web the first time and be done with it. Okay, is that actually a door? It is. What's the point of the lever here? Right. Yes. So we go back. Okay, I don't want to do that then. I want to explore the other area that we haven't explored yet. I thought this was an area... Well, I should have realised actually that that was the way forward. Let's try and make this quick. We were in the middle of exploring over this way. Left turn up the stairs through the spiders. Yeah, I should open that chest there, shouldn't I?
Or I could have gone through that door and just jumped down. But it would be interesting to know how to get up there. Is. Uh, yes, back this way. There's a coin purse up there that I can't get, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. into this place. Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks, well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening I don't remember where the where the things are I have to find. There are three there's one. I don't need that. Just to get well, let's just finish going around this way, I suppose. I think there's three pieces to the moon dial. It's two or three, something like that. There's another one. So, what have we got? New moon. Maybe there's several pieces missing. That's half moon. There's one of the pieces. Not that one. There we go. That's two of the pieces done. Uh, what else we got? There's another one. Oh no. I thought that was another piece just there. I was mistaken. I thought some of the pieces were actually hidden away in like boxes and stuff not there, it's not there and look yeah yeah nothing there
There might be one in the water here somewhere. Uh, there. I think we're still a couple short. Maybe not. Very clever, mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before. Be careful. No void salts. A little disappointing. Plenty of chances to get void salts later. These guys. They are dead now. So there's something up that way. Thing full of ruined books. I don't know, I felt that the way forward was over this way, but... Mayhap I am wrong. Look. Yep, yeah, that's not the way forward. Alright. If you can't walk on the table every now and then, what is there to do in life? I should see. Let's see what size soul gem we get from gargoyles if we get any, any more of them. Oh, no. I don't care about skeletons. Now, in my luck, we're probably not going to find another gargoyle now.
That's what we heard last time a cargo came to life. I've contracted rattles. I think I have your disease. Very nice. And maybe we'll just do a minor healing to make sure that we're all good. Triple check. No negative effects. All good. We did get a soul gem out of that. What did we get? Looks like it was another lesser. Because so I think it filled up one of these, so... It would seem gargoyles are not worth filling soul gems either. I do sort of want to be sure though. I was expecting that gargoyle to wake up. The Greater Soul Gem. Nice. Anything in the wardrobe that we want? In full of gold. And again. Leather.
you really familiar? How many more big empty dining rooms are we going to go through? Another gargoyle. Oh, I feel like... You're going to wake up the instant I pull that chain, aren't you? No? Soul captured. Yeah, it's just a lesser soul. Never again. It's in there. Nothing. So I think we go... Ah. I don't think this... Maybe I should have tried him. He was a brute. He might have had a slightly bigger soul. Expert lock. That was almost unlocked. Yep, there's the mandatory volume of cake and the diamond. Every building by law in Skyrim must have a copy of cake and the diamond. There's another skeleton up in there somewhere.
don't know where he is. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's charge this. Oops. That's not right. That's going to be a pain in the butt because now I'm going to have to do that again and do that again. Get it back out. Okay. Charge that. Now those Valor Stones are very useful. I don't want that. Uh, <clears throat> so the way forward was back this way. Can't go any further that way. So it's up this way and over this towards that skeleton we heard before. Who's next? Where was the other dead gargoyle I just killed? Is it this one? Did you say something, Serena? I really wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looting gargoyles. Vampire royal armor and a silver sword. I mean, I don't want to wear vampire royal armor, but... Magicka regenerates 125% faster. And it's light armor. Very well. Um, I'm gonna say this feels like a dead end, but that looks like a fake doorway, a fake um fireplace. I've got the malevolent bow out because I was expecting more gargoyles. I was hoping to get like a gargoyle brute. I should double check, of course. What did I get? 
One of those might have been a brute because I've got a common and two lesser out of that. Very interesting to know. I personally would have thought that gargoyles gave slightly bigger souls than that, but... Okay. Here's where we get interesting. Uh, I think I probably needed to find that book as part of this. But we've already found it. So there we go. I was actually just looking for any books that looked like they had... Interesting. Uh, what's the names? I don't want soul gem fragments. What I want are void salts. Considering her mother was known to be a bit of an alchemist. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. You found her journal. Let me take a look at it. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. This question says a lot about the Elder Scrolls franchise in general. You know, the fact that all magic is powered by souls or all sort of um, all structured enchanting is powered by souls and yet nobody seems to care. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers mm. send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of a portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of Soul Gem Shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts... Damn it! <sighs> Damn it. Now that's my line. I want the purified void salts. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood. Which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm. Not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Yep, there were... Finding ground... It's not actually letting me take the finally ground bone mill. I guess we have taken it. There was, um... No, it was over here. There was soul gem fragments just here. Don't know how many we need. Oh, they're probably the things we need are probably going to be in those containers. Is that how it's going to work? More standard soul gems. The grand. Having trouble finding those ingredients. Please tell me we don't have to use every void salt we find here. Having trouble finding those ingredients. Oh, I'm not even really looking yet. Small pearl, mountain flower, pearl, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Atrex. I hope that's right. Uh, there we go. 
Void salt. Void salt. Where are the void salts? Or fire salts, frost salts, there's some void salt, there's some frost salt, fire salt. And there's purified void salts. Oh good, it's the purified ones that we need. I can keep the other void salts. Very good. sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Okay, here goes. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not caring too much. Oh, I... Are you all right? That looks painful. Now that I think... It's hard to describe. The soul... There might be. Vampires aren't counted among the living. Not your first choice, I'd guess. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul... It would make you a bit weaker when we traveled... I'm sorry. Just know... I know that better than anybody. I think I'd rather become a partially trapped soul. Have you made up your mind? Are you sure? I you'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. I know this is difficult. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. As you wish. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. I really don't. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! I mean, that's a dragon skull but yeah i'm not entirely sure i don't really remember what i've got to do in here i'm just following the little arrow at the moment and i'm, I'm 
I'm aware that there's actually a fair bit of stuff that you can do sort of outside this quest in the Soul Khan. I don't think I care at this point. To be frank, I just want to find her mother, get what we need, and get the hell out of here. Let's see where that spectral horse went. Just checking to see whether any of these resor any of these rocks are mineable. Not that I really need them, but Serena. He seems to be pretty um, on point here in the soul calm. I think I can eat vegetable soup. I drink can drink minor healing potions. Okay. Like I said, I think I just want to get this quest done, get out of here. Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We are here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Ah, uh, there's no ruse. One who murders vampires as a trade. I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Boom, boom, boom. When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. 
The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serrano was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serrano, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serrano's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Well, you are followers of Molag Ball. I mean, that in itself is enough that the uh, vigilance of Stendar will kill you. Serana, this stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy that he needs your blood You'll be in terrible danger So to protect me you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly Both of you were obsessed with your own paths Your motivations might have been different, but in the end I'm still just a pawn to you too I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saron. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. G'day, St. Salvius. How you doing? One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Let's kill those... ...the things and get back to the prison. One first, I think. 
Not going to bother sneaking at the moment. It takes too long. Yeah, I've seen that Alpha 20 is out. Um, but you have to load the uh, like the beta version to get it. So I decided not to do that just yet. Besides, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Even though I can see that some of the stuff... Um... What I have seen of Alpha 20, it does look very good. I think we have to go into this building here, perhaps. Who's there? I knew I heard something. So are you tired, tired because you've been playing Alpha 20? Is that, is that the reason? Oh, I'm using the exploding bolts. levels at 91 that is very good a couple of more levels and I should go and see Angie where is Serana oh there you are Maybe I should start sneaking so I can get that extra sneak damage in. Well, that's one Boneyard Keeper. And definitely sneak when you want to attack them because they die very quickly that way. help. Be 
It's the body. Here's the weapon. Oh, there's the soul embers. Oh, grand soul jam and void salts. Well, hey. Actually, I should have checked to see if there was anything I could loot from this guy over here that I killed. Black soul gem with a grand soul in it. to sneak a bit I think starting to feel a little dangerous I got two grand black soul. That might have been the soul I just harvested from the fisher. see where the last soul was. I can't remember where he was when I shot him. It's all right. I'm lost. I thought I was supposed to be killing the Boneyard Creeper. There's no Boneyard Creeper there.
been so long since I I did this mission last time. Serana finished that off for me, but that's okay. Uh, I should just use my level up, shouldn't I, to gain to regain health. Uh, stamina, please. And as we said, we want to go and get Ebony Smithing. There we go. Save that. Can I search this? There we go. Another grand black soul gem. And I'm going to assume that that takes me back. Right. I feel like we've got to go up this way. said we've got to get back to something.
He didn't want those Nord arrows, that's for sure. in here. Right, we can head back. Get this over with. Seen sign of the dragon yet? You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Denevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. In that case, shock bolts are loaded. Do you have any more? Nope. I wanted, to, wanted more void salt. I remember now. The dragon definitely attacks in here.
What'd she say? The Elder Scroll is what? No soul. No soul gems. What? It's hardly fun. Hardly fair. Uh, oh, look at all the goodies. Void salts. Thank you. Don't want the vampire dust or the salt pile. Don't know what the soul husk extract does, but it's worth a lot. Dusk. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Donavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Donavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes, hours, years, I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, didn't she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the Soul Cairn, it was given to the Ideal Masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. I have no choice. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of this after what I've put Saron. Remember, and promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. I think I could be doing this alone. Than the value I have left. Did you have anything to ask? Right, let's get out of here. I don't remember if he attacks us again or not. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Curse. 
exist, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Um, you can only be vanquished once. Like, that's the way it works. It's kill or be killed. Anyway, your words, my desire, I merely wish for countless years before this, I roamed the. I fear that my time, if I ventured far from the soul, camp, I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor. And I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my thum. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. what I wanted. How are we doing for charge on these weapons? Oh yes, I need to charge that, thank you. Um, We're just basically going back to where we came in. I thought we, yeah, I can never remember what goes on with this, but I thought we had to retrieve our soul gem on the way out.
Yeah, this is... Okay, I'm back to normal. What now? Well, that's sort of what I was going to ask you. What is our next step? We need to discover the other... So we need to find a way out, which I'm guessing would be that door there. Right, let's go back home. Okay, so, um, upstairs, let's have some fun, we got lots of stuff to put away, lots of ore but here's the thing we now have ebony smithing so uh let's go downstairs i don't want to be distracted for the moment so i'm going to put everything i'm going to sell in my little cell chest over here we don't want any of those, those, or those. Uh, don't need that, or that, or those. Get rid of those, keep that, keep all of these. Um, I can probably do something with some of those. Don't need that. Or that. And we'll get rid of those. Okay. 
Yes, that was a Royal Vampire armor that we, it's a light armor set that we got uh, inside Castle Valkyr when we were trying to find her mother initially and it gives you 125% increase to magicka regeneration. So yeah, it's pretty good if you're going down a light armored sort of magic using route. That's not what I meant to do. No soul gems should be in there. Where was it? Kit. That goes away, that goes away. Very good. Now, uh, we have ebony plate boots, ebony plate armor there, and around here, we have an ebony crossbow. Let's grab all of our ebony ingots. Oh, and our smithing gear. though is a sec. What smithing enchantment can I currently do? If I wanted to enchant that armor with fortify smithing, I can make it 20% better. don't actually want to use that armor. What I might do though is I might quickly make a new set of smithing gear. Like the gauntlets that I've got here, the orc gauntlets, they're 25%. But I might sell that that and that because I can make those better and if I make so I've got that I need a ring a necklace and some armor If I was to make some, say, leather armor, I just need leather and leather strips. And then make some jewelry. What have I got here? I've got five gold ingots. Do I have any silver? I've got silver ore. I've got enough to make one silver thing. I'll just use a couple of gold and then some leather and some leather strips. Perfect. So let's just make... Oh, hang on. Is there anything here? That's where the orcish scale stuff is? That's interesting. I suppose the silver armor is there too, isn't it? I should make the ebony spell knight armor. 
That's what I should do. Because it's really good armor. I think it's better than the just the plain ebony armor. Although I've got... That's 76. That's 83. The... I have ebony plate, I think. And that's only 78. I'm definitely making the spell knight armor. Um... Okay, so, I want to just make a leather armor. And then I want to make... Gold rings, gold necklace. Perfect. Now... I think, yeah, I've got an enchanting elixir, but it only lasts for 60 seconds. So, I don't have any other enchanting potions up here. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to, because I want to use, I want to use that enchanting elixir when I enchant my ebony spell knight armor and my ebony bow. So for now, we are going to enchant the leather armor with Fortify Smithing using a Grand Soul. And we are going to rename this so I don't get... Uh, ...mixed up on what it is. And then we want to enchant the gold necklace with Fortify Smithing. And rename that to a Smithing Necklace. And then enchant one of the rings with Smithing. And rename that to a Smithing ring. Beautiful. Put those on. So, smithing armor, smithing ring, smithing necklace, and that. Now, to make the ebony spell knight armor, what do I need? I just need leather strips and the armor. So that, 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 and that. I have the ebony crossbow. Let's make the enhanced ebony crossbow. Wonderful. We have all of the fortify smithing gear on. So that is all good. Let's... So I'm not even going to do these now. Although I could upgrade them for the experience. And then... Oh, I meant to drink my blacksmithing potion. Damn it. Is that going to allow me to do these even better? It is. Brilliant. Got them done nice and quickly. Uh, so that is now doing 198 compared to my glass crossbow, which is doing 161. So I think I will use the legendary ebony after all. We will favor that. We will unfavor that. And we will select that. Um, I'm not sure the paralysis is the right thing to have on this crossbow. Um, I... 
every time I used the paralysis, uh, hardly anything was ever paralysed. Um, so I think I'm going to go back to putting the shock enchantment on it. So we are now ready to enchant these items. Um, I'm going to need some more soul gems, I think. So let's grab all of my grand soul gems and let's drink the potion. Oh, 25% stronger for 60 seconds. And let's do this. Item. Spell Knight Armor. Fortify Heavy Armor. Black Soul Gem. Item. Uh, Spell Knight Boots. Fortify Sneak. Black Soul Gem. Item. Spell Knight Gauntlets. Fortify Archery. 37%. Item, Spell Knight Helmet, Fortify Archery. Item, Gold Ring, Enchantment, Fortify Archery, Soul Gem, That, Rename, Archery Ring. And then Item, Ebony Crossbow, Enchantment, uh, I think I want shock on there again, rather than paralyze. I don't want soul trap. Let's do shock. Yes, so soul gem that. Brilliant. So now, if I put on my ebony spell knight armor and my new 37% archery ring, which is better than my Nordic archery ring, which was only 32%. I feel like I should do another amulet, but I probably won't be able to get that high percentage because my potion's going to run out before then. So I'm gonna put up with that. But that, with the enhanced ebony crossbow, oh my, 350 damage. 350. That is insane. 364 total. 364. If I go back to using the standard bolts, what's it going to say for damage? 364. That is insane. Three hundred and sixty-four damage. Wow. And my armor is at three ninety-nine. Wow. Okay. Uh so I need to put away my smithing gear. Uh in fact I should take those gloves out of there because they're junk now. Um and we need to store that, 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 and that. The rest of this stuff we are selling. Oh, 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 oh. Um, was there anything else here? Um, there's no ebony bolts. Pretty much expected that. Um. That's fine. So I can now make another 50 of my shock bolts. That is great. And I'm nearly at 80, I'm at level 86 smithing. That is just wonderful. Okay, let, oh, um, let's put away the stuff we don't need. So, all of those, very good, all of that, all of those. 
put away our soul gems. Uh, what do we got? 14 there. And we're good. Yeah. Lots of stuff to sell there. Oh, I need to go down here and make sure that is now number one. I'm almost considering selling that Dwarven Bow of Malediction too, actually. Because I can't find anything that has a high enough soul that's worth killing. It's easier for me to buy soul gems or find them filled than to try and fill them myself. Vastly easier. Uh, is there anything in potion wise I want to put away in here? Am I carrying too much of anything? Uh, extreme healing, healing, magic, a minor plentiful. No, I think I will keep and just go and sell all of that stuff. I have six and a half thousand gold on me. I don't need to do any more with that. Yeah, you know what? I am definitely going to sell that crossbow of malediction. I don't see the point in using it. Where is it? Unfavor that. And we will sell it. <laughs> Um, let's try selling all of that in solitude right now. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Oh, clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Uh, yep, that, that, that. And that, and, oh, no, you can't afford that. Uh, you definitely can't afford that, or that, or that. And take that, and you can't afford that. Alrighty then, I'll find someone else who can afford it. Thank you very much. Bits and pieces. We might even be able to sell some bits and pieces here. Oh, that's a terrible pun. There we go. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Yep, okay, get rid of that. Those. Keeping that. Don't want those. Don't want... Oh, actually, I should keep these potions and sell them to the... Alchemist. Uh, I'll sell... Oh, that's worth nothing. Well, there you go. You can have that. And that. Uh, yep, don't want those. Okay, is there anything here I don't want? I don't want the garnets. The hammer. The plate. And the soul gem fragments. Everything else we'll keep. You only have 42 gold, so you're not really going to be able to afford anything I've got unless there's something that you've got that I want. Oh, look at that. More Grand Soul Gems. I only have like 15 or so at home that I really have no use for, but sure, need to sell stuff, so... Oh my god. Uh, let's buy that as well so I can at least sell that ebony plate because that is ridiculous. Don't want that. I don't want that. I don't. She can't afford that. Well, we have to buy the other one as well. The last grand soul gem. Uh, oh, look. That's more than you're willing than you've got. Uh, we'll sell that. We'll sell that. 31. I'm not going to be able to sell anything to you for 31. Let 
me know if you see anything you like. Wish the damn shopkeepers around here would stand up at their counters. That's what I wish. 500. Do you have void salts? You do. Okay, now you might actually be able to buy all these potions I want to get rid of. Maybe not. Sell those to someone else, I guess. Don't forget me next time you need Right. Can I... I can't make Dwarven... Exploding Dwarven bolts here. They must have made... They must have made the... Forge in Mere Watch special. So that you can make your own bolts there without having to go to, to Dawn Guard. That is really good. Um, get rid of those. Get rid of that. And that, that, can't afford that. You definitely can't afford that. You can't afford any of that. All the sword you can do, you can't afford that or that. You're not going to have anything I want because you're just not. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You're not going to be able to afford. You're not going to have anything that I want. All right. Markarth, it is. I don't remember. Oh, no, there's no books that he'll probably want. It's only those two there. Yeah, no, there's nothing that I can sell to Carcel, no. It's four in the morning. Let's just wait a few hours. Till the sun's up and everyone's back to work. Oh, yep, I hear them working there in the... In the forge. Very good. Need a new, the finest weapons and armor. Okay, you can buy a little bit more. Uh, you can't even afford a glass crossbow. Uh... I don't want any of that. Like, seriously. Okay, so I don't sell the glass crossbow yet. You can afford that, and then nothing else. I'm gonna have to go to half the world to find people I can sell this stuff to. and a bit of that okay she has three grand soul gems gain not that I need them but there's no way I'm going to be able to sell all this stuff if I don't buy them from her so she can just afford my glass crossbow Now 
I can sell that. And that. And those. Is it worthwhile? It's not worthwhile me buying another Grand Soul Gem from her because the only other thing I want to sell at the moment is that Orcish Plate Helmet. Everything else I've sold. And if I buy another gem from her, I need something that's about 600. I'll take the greater. That's about the, that's about the cost of that. Okay. How are we doing? 129 carry weight. That seems about what I think it needs to be. So. We need to find the last Elder Scroll, which means... Why did I do that? I do actually want the map up. Which means off to the College of Winterhold. The map's all screwed up. I don't want to. You are now in the Arcanium. Disrupt now. Do you require assistance? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? You think that even if it would be kept under the highest security, the greatest thief in the world wouldn't... I don't know. I'll bring... So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Try not... on them. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going... Aye. He's the world's master of the... He's been gone for a long while. Somewhere up... He said he found... Uh, haven't heard from him since. That's alright. We will go and track him down now. I know technically I didn't have to do that. I could have just gone to where he is. But part of the problem is, is I can't actually remember exactly where he is. I thought it showed me on the map where he was. It's over here somewhere. Or am I just not? There we go. Yeah, he's up there.
Rena will catch up in her own time. It was a fox. I thought it was a wolf. scale well it's all one block lifts the up Set. lucky that in the have you heard of black re on of tan De but not all tooth the the edge of fine trust septimus he knows you can know right That's where we've got to go. Alf 10. Uh, I think there's a path through there. So let's go to the Forsaken Cave, which we haven't done yet. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I thought I'd killed him in one shot there for a second. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Hey, come here, stupid horse. Oh, gotta go this way a bit first. Bandits or hunters? Bandits, he's already marked red. Five gold. 
all his life was worth. Every time, every time I get on the horse and gallop, I get attacked by something. Actually, there's likely to be more bad guys just around here. Hunters or bandits? You look more like bandits than hunters. Pay attention, you could learn something. Not now, I'm trying to watch this. Ah, oh, you're a companion. There you go. That's why there's no bandits in the area. It's also why I'm glad I didn't shoot first and ask questions later. That would not have worked out well. Not that I couldn't take the companions, but... You know, I don't want to just kill them out of hand for no real reason. Any war axe? Okay, we're starting to find more and more ebony stuff. that he was going to be there.
yourself, Cesar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more school. Shut up, shut up. Don't like me, Cesar. Always friendly. Another of the school. Never should have come. Mercy! <laughs> Don't want anything else of him. I'm going to try and keep the looting to a minimum. Because you know, most of these guys have absolutely nothing I want. I'll buy stuff that I'll pick up gold and Dwemer stuff. That's about all that really interests me at the moment. And even then, I don't actually need the Dwemer. Got a bit back home. Not sure drain life is going to work on those. You can try as much as you like, Serana. I just, I don't know, I have my doubts. Something to do with the fact that they're not really alive. Here's me saying that I don't need to pick up everything and I'm still picking up more than I need to. Dragon plate, insulated boots. Uh, what I am going to do is I don't need any of this really. In particular, the really heavy stuff. This. And those. I don't need any of that junk. But that dragon plate. 37 for those boots. My boots, well, my boots are 83, but... Let's 
certainly be interesting to s interesting yes to see how well those boots can be upgraded at some point Gold, that, and that. the other way go and bang got nothing I want there I'll take that I'll take that and I'll take those and we'll take all of that the, the rest it feels so wrong to be leaving all of this Dwemer stuff but I don't need it Yes, I can sell the dwarven oil. I don't really need it though. Okay, starting to see the Falmer stuff. It might be time to start sneaking again. Because that is the easiest way to deal with the Falmer. It's not foolproof, because... If there's any opponent in this game that can see through stealth... It's Falmer. They are very good at it. I might not even take soul gems anymore. Which means... I don't really need to take those bolts either, but that might be all I'll take. Uh... I wanted to get up there quickly. Oh! Serana somehow got up there without triggering the trap as well. I expected her to trigger every one of those traps on the way up. Right. So... Is there a second one down there? I can never remember. I don't think there is. There is a chest down here, though. 
Yeah, we don't want anything. What have you got? Novice. Sure. Where is he? Well, that's right, this is a dead end. I've got to jump down. Don't I? Glass shield, okay. I don't recall there being anything worthwhile in there. I don't want any of that expert gate. Very close to got it. Don't want a dwarven helmet. Master lock. Oh. So close. Yep, 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 yep. Wonderful. That was nice and easy.
Okay, I'll walk into that. What a waste of crossbow bolts to take down a simple skeever. I don't know why I even bothered checking. And gold stuff. Where'd the other guy go? Did he die completely or did he slide down here? He slid down here. Very good. Garbage on the floor. Nothing real. Amethyst, gold, and a bolt. No void salts. Doesn't look like it. Who it's saying is, um, oh, it's probably the, that's gold ore. Very nice. All right. That's right. Uh, I feel like there's some ores around here. Maybe I'm imagining things. There's a chest.
I wish she wouldn't do that. One of the biggest pet peeves I have about having her in the group is she she resurrects everything around her. Mostly just it's distracting because you turn around and suddenly there is somebody you thought you killed already or what have you. Uh, grab that and that. In there. What did we have over here? Really, nothing all that interesting. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take... I think this doesn't go all the way to the top. I'm pretty sure this goes just part way up, doesn't it? Well, maybe it does. No, that's right, we go up to here, and then there's this door here that we open that takes us back out into there. Okay, I'll head back down from here. Yeah, I just... It's partly don't like having followers because they get in the way, and then don't like necromantic followers because they resurrect everything. So, she sort of annoys me in multiple ways. Should not have missed. Old Ruby. No, thank you. I think it's because we're sneaking that she's not asking me stuff anymore. I feel like if I stopped sneaking and stood there, she'd go, What do you need? Why is she still sneaking? That is bizarre. She obviously has decided that stealth is the only viable option in here. Can't say that I mind. At least she's not asking me what I need all the time. I think she's actually good enough at stealth that she doesn't set off these traps either, which is handy. 
because that's the other problem with with followers if they're sticking close by you and you avoid the trap and they don't and it gets you anyway that's super annoying Pretty sure there was someone over that way. And your spider too. Don't jump down that way, Tony. You might just die from that fall. Speaking of dying, it's probably going to be a good idea. Switch to the super good bolts. Because... That way, you can take out that guy with a single shot and not have to worry. I saw movement over here. I guess I didn't. Daedric arrows, okay. Ebony arrows. Dagger of Dread. That sounds no scary. Just a little bit. Oh, did you get stuck in there, Serena? I'm sorry. Uh, let's just drop this stuff back at home. 
is so we're not carrying quite as much. That was just her drawing her dagger. I don't know why she had to make that sound. Well, she does it when she comes in the room as well. Uh, we're going to sell some stuff, so let's see. We need to sell that. No. Wrong key. Okay. Uh, it will sell all of those. Actually, I'm going to sell all the empty soul gems that I've got as well because I'm not... I'm not filling them. soul gems away including those three put all these balls away that I keep on me. Taj of the Blooded. That's right. There is a spot for this. Uh, not there. It's not there. There. There we go. Right. Uh... There's something else I was thinking I've got on me that I've got to do. Oh, the three void salts that I've got. Let me just confirm. I do still have... Yeah, I've got 164 Dwemer. I don't need to make any more... I don't need to gather any more woven metal. And that's a good carry of 127, so I've got plenty of capacity. Let's get back to it. What? I thought I could get back in here. Damn it. I always forget. I know that I always forget that. I guarantee you every single time I have done the quest down here to Blackreach, I've done basically the same thing. I've gone in there 
and I've said, okay, I'm going to leave and put some stuff away. I come back, I go to that spot, and I expect to be able to go back down, and I can't. And I think every time it probably just crushes my soul just that little bit more. Because I forget it every time. I'll probably still be playing this game 10 years from now. Going down to Blackreach. And coming back up via that exit. And forgetting that I can't go back down the same way. At least I've got this shortcut. Not that it's a huge shortcut. But it's better than nothing. Still have to make my way down here and through some I think she just hit one of the traps. Here we go. That was something over there. Oh, there we go. Let's get him. You almost copped a bolt through the brain then, Sarah. Keep an eye on me. I mean, I know I can mine geodes out here that give me soul gems. Don't care. Ebony, I will mine, though.
You got anything interesting? Yeah, I'll take that. Salts, moon sugar, soul gems. Must have read that already. Fire salts. Back out. Now, um, I sort of feel like I want to just creep over here for a minute. So I'm pretty sure this area here is a little pit and there is a Falma down in there. And I don't want to take the chance that he sneaks up behind me. So I want to sneak up behind him. and solve that problem once and for all. Oh, saw you, little Chorus, and I missed you. Chorus Reaper killed with one hit. That is what I like to see. Now, two part. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where are you going? Thank you. I don't know that I've ever come over here. Now, I'm sure that's incorrect. I probably have. But I don't remember ever coming over here. I wonder how you get in here. I mean, that doesn't do anything. Where's Goth Girl? What the? Where's Goth Girl gone? Whatever, I'm sure she'll catch up eventually. Is this more ebony over here? No, it is not. That might be though. What is that? Silver. I don't really need it, but I'll take it. No, that and that. Oh.
pretty certain there's another Falmer just down here somewhere. Considering that's his hut right there. But that didn't do anything, so... Stand still. Him? No, thank you. There he is. Quickly go up here and make sure we've cleaned everything out. Everybody out of here. I think there's a chest up there somewhere as well. Ooh, those little magical zoomy guys are over there. I'm trying to remember. Those are the geodes. I think it's like... Down there. is where there are some more Chorus nests. Which I definitely want to clean out as soon as I can. There was nothing else here I really wanted, I don't think. I can do without the... The ore. Geode mines, etc. Yeah, right there. Damn it. not destroying it actually is that one there don't know might have to get a little closer I suppose still no sign of goth girl I don't know what happened to her there it is that's what I'm looking for about we recharge this a little bit. I'll we'll just use the lesser for now. Have more than one lesser? No. That's fine. Okay. Right.
ball if there's any more little surprises along the way here. Now there's stuff over in there. Let's go over this way. I always like to come over here. I never remember what's here. Well, I vaguely remember that it's like the dwarven farm. And they're like farming mushrooms or whatever they've got here. I think this is the only building that's actually open or available. That one's crushed in and so is that one. Farm overseer's house. See? I was correct. Oh, and you've decided to join me again. How very interesting. I don't want to foul my bow. Lots and lots and lots of dwemer that I do not want. Got a chest with a chest with a level up. You know, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this level. That's interesting. I mean, I'm going to take stamina, but how are we doing with archery? Ninety-two. I'm at level ninety-two. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was nothing else I wanted to put into Sneak. I probably should be putting more into Heavy Armor, but quite frankly, I'm not getting hit enough. I don't feel like it's imperative. I've got two perk points. Wow. I didn't realize. Uh, can't do anything there. Don't want Fire Enchanter. Insightful Enchanter we've done. Soul Squeezer we've done. Soul Siphon I decided I didn't want to do. What was this one? I don't really need that enchantment either, but that gives me two enchantments at the same time. So I really have to put a point there because that makes sense. Um, at this point, the only other option is to put it into... Ranger, which I don't want. It's absolutely pointless to me as a crossbowman. And then the other option, so we're waiting there. I can't put anything into that one at the bottom because I've done it all. So that means the only other place I can spend a point, if I don't want either of those two enchantments, which I don't, is heavy armor. Now, do I put it there or do I go... Reflect blows, matching set, cushioned. Cushioned would be good to get eventually, but I'm so far away from getting that. I think I'm probably just better to increase my armor rating by putting it there. Let's do a full save after that. Oh, potions. Potion. Potion. Oh, and there's a, another chest on the wall there. Okay, back to sneak mode. Actually, I don't th feel like I need to sneak anymore. Let's just quickly get back over to the path over here. Actually, we do need to do a little bit of sneaking right here. I'm going to head down and around this way. I think on the other bank of this river, waterway, whatever you want to call it, there is a small Falmer camp on the other side, I think. So I want to sneak in the off chance I can see one of them and snipe them. 
yeah there is the Falma camp right there there's also a chest down here I believe there's no sign of those Falma I probably could stir things up a little by just doing that and then doing that okay maybe not that how about A swimming Falmer. Could have thunk it. But where'd that arrow come or whatever that was come from? I don't see the other guy. He's oh there he is. He's all the way up there. There we go. All done. Uh, I thought there was a chest down here. In fact, I was pretty positive there was, but there isn't, so... There's only the chest down that little side bit. Just there. I guess. I don't want ruined books. Actually, I don't want the spoon either. That's not enchanted. They're just gyros. That's a chest. Snap. Go. This side, a potion. Book I have already read, but it is worth a little bit of money, so we'll pick it up. Sprig and sap. No, thank you. Back to sneaking. And we don't need to sneak no more because we are here.
Sky. All right, let's get out of here. There is a lever on the wall that opens the door, Tony. Always look for that. Alright, so, uh, we're not going to do the rest of that, we need to do that, but let's go home first. put away the Alftan key and I feel like I might as well store another thousand gold I don't need to be carrying it all with me Again, it doesn't really matter if I'm carrying it or not. Uh, put that away. Those away. That away. Right. What have we got that we don't need? Daedric arrows, ebony arrows, steel axe. All right. What are we still carrying that weighs so much? Must be the... The scrolls? Yep. The dragon scroll. The elder scrolls weigh 20 each. All right, so we need to take these back to Fort Dawnguard, but we're going to do that in the next episode. Happy, still really happy with how this is going. Ebony Spell Knight armor now. Ebony Crossbow doing insane amounts of damage. We are really, really close to, for the first time ever, getting some skills to 100%. Uh, 
I don't think I've ever had enchanting this high. I think only once before have I had smithing this high. But archery at 92, never before. And definitely, as soon as we hit archery 94, I have to remember to go to Angie and do the quest that she has because that is six free levels. And that will get me to 100. And that will be perfect. But we are going to come back and we're going to finish the Dawn Guard quest line. As I said, the reason we're doing this is I want to get the Dawn Guard quest line out of the way. No more vampires attacking me and everything. Um, and then we're going to do the main quest line until we go and meet the Greybeards for the first time. We're then going to go over to Solastein and we're going to do all of the Dragonborn quest line over there as well as a few other things. That's all going to have to be in another episode. Thank you, everybody, for joining me, and I will catch you next time. Bye now.